Hey, you remember me? Uh, no, I, I don't. We, we in the same class or something? Used to. We took geology, Asian American studies, even photography. Photography too? Yeah. We even went to the same elementary school. You bullied me for seven years. Bubble Boy? Yeah. Gee, is that you? Oh, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Uh, you all right? Man, it's been a little bit. Yeah, been better. Moving away from you was the best thing I ever did. Oh, yeah, well, look, gee, I, I really am sorry. I mean, what I did to you back then was totally uncalled for. And I mean, I own that. I was an insecure individual, and I actually really envied you. So, I'm sorry. I mean, I hope we can be friends now. I'm, I really do owe you a lot. Yeah, you do owe me a lot. After all those years of being disrespected, treated less than, and being ignored, I finally had enough. But I'm over it now. Understood. But I do need your help, though. I'm in the CS major finishing my senior thesis, and I programmed a new mobile app. It's called Bubble Bash. It's a virtual reality experience through this headset, and I need you to test it out. It's the least you could do. I mean, yeah, I can totally help you out, but like, why specifically me? I'm in the arts major, man. I mean, can't you find people in the CS to help you out? I don't think I'm best fit for this. No, no, you have to help me. I've been working on this project for many years, and this project means the world to me. I know we, have, we just officially met on better terms, but I feel like I cannot move on with my life if I don't somehow reconstruct these bad memories into better moments. Please, can you do this for me? For our friendship? Yeah, okay. Sure. I can help you out. <laughs> Download the app, take this, try it out tomorrow, and meet back here on Wednesday, same time. Okay, yeah. I'm new to this, like, the, uh, the entire experience. Are you like my Cortana or something? I'm legit lost, my guy. I'm like half wet, half dry, you know? Um, well, not, not the best analogy, but, uh, okay. Maybe the worst analogy. Is there something I should, should know, like a safe word or something? doing this? I'm down in the zone. I'm here for the bubble bash. Damn it, I knew you would say that. Did G send you? Are you programmed or something? I'm down in the zone. I'm here for the bubble bash. Ah! Wait! Bubble bash! Ah! Oh, bubble boy! Bubble...
You good? <sighs> Where am I? Where's my shirt, dude? Bro, you don't remember any of this? You came right over there and you tried to beat me up. You tried to kill me, dude. Nah, I don't remember any of that. I was just with G. He told me I needed to help him out or something. That's what he told me, too. Well, how did you get into this mess? I'm engaged with his sister. He didn't really like me before, but he told me I had to help him. Yeah, he said it was for some psych project or something. Or... Psych? He told me this was for a, C a CS major. It was his senior thesis. Hmm. No, that's not true. He hmm. never took any psych class. I mean, CS classes. Okay. Yeah. He, uh, he almost had his psych degree, but he got kicked out before he could complete his final project. It was for some sort of mental anesthesia. Mind control. Mind? This is too much. Kicked out? Psych? This is a setup. And this all started when I downloaded the Bubble Bash app. Now that you mention it, G did mention a Bubble Bash to me. Maybe I was under his form of mind control. I think so. Yeah. Hmm. I can only recall how he hated this one person and how much he wanted that one person to feel the pain and the suffering that he endured. Are you? Are you San? Yeah, I'm San. Yeah, I don't know what the hell you did to him, but he wants to make you suffer. And he wants to publicly humiliate you in front of the whole internet. I mean, in all honesty, I do deserve this, but not like this. And how do I know you're not under his mind control still? Well, we do know when the special word comes on, kind of triggers something, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah. Bubble boy? Ah! No, I'm just messing around. My bad, dude. They mean to freak you out there. Dude, you give me zero confidence in that statement. Yeah. Well, okay. We gotta do something to stop G. And this revenge resolves nothing. Agreed. I'll take you to the location that we're supposed to meet up. But what do we do from there? Let's talk in the car. I knew your pathetic waste of mass could do something good. I promise I won't tell your sister about your good work. After all these years of teasing me, taking my pencils, and calling me Bubble oh Boy, I will now have my revenge. I am going to tie you to that post, record you with this camera, and throw these fruits at you for every time you have insulted me. And if I run out of fruits, I will go to the store and buy some more. Then I'll upload this online and finally have my sweet revenge. There's only one problem. Store closes at 9 p.m. Look, gee, I just want to talk this out, man.
I don't want to hurt you. I never meant to cause this much pain. Shut up. You're the reason why I'm like this. I hate you. Gee, I really am sorry. But this won't solve anything. Think about it. The repercussions. Daniel, get him. Come on, Daniel. Gee, you are not a bubble boy. <laughs>